So a carbocation rearrangement workshop. So this is really important for um, SN1 and E1 reactions that go through carbocations. And so what do we know about carbocations? We know that they want, they're not very stable, right? Because they don't, they do not have full octets. There's three ways to stabilize carbocations. There's lone pair resonance, pi bond resonance, and hyperconjugation. And we want to make carbocations more stable. Right. So we're going to keep make. If we can make it more stable, we will re, we will do rearrangements for stability. If it's if it's not making it more stable, or if it keeps it the same stability, it won't happen. So, a couple examples here. You start with a secondary carbocation. How do I know it's secondary? Because it's bonded to one hydrogen. Right. So secondary carbocation. They come from secondary uh, alkyl halides or leaving groups. I can make these more stable. All right, so I'm looking for beta hydrogen. So I'm looking for sigma bonds, not just beta, sigma bonds two bonds away from the carbocation. One, two, one, two. So I could, put, I could do re reagent here, but that'd make a primary carbocation that's less stable. If I move this H, right, and I move electrons, I don't move the charge, I move electrons, right? Electrons in the, in the atoms attached to them. That gives me a secondary carbocation with lone pair resonance. Well, that's really good, All right? So with lone pair resonance. And then I just ask you, right, different arrows, this is a resonance arrow to draw the resonance, and this is a really stable thing because not everything has a full octet. So not just hydrogens can move, you can also move carbons. So again, similar situation, secondary carbocation. We're gonna rearrange sigma bonds two bonds away, so I'm not gonna go this way because that'd make a primary. Instead, I'm gonna move one of these methyls, right? And that's going to go from a secondary to a tertiary carbocation. Notice how the electrons and carbon-5 and the CH3 all go with it. Tertiary carbocation is great, but if I move one of these ethyls, now I get not just tertiary, but tertiary and benzylic. So now there's pi bond resonance that makes this stable. So that's why these rearrangements will happen. It's because you're getting more and more stable. And you're looking for sigma bonds, two bonds away from the carbocation. Continuing on. Now you can see these rearrangements. And these rearrangements will happen because of ring strain. Six member rings is kind of the sweet spot for carbon. Four and three member rings certainly are bad. They're not, there's a lot of ring strain there. For an sp3 hybridized atom, it wants to have a 109.5 degree bond angle. A triangle has 60 at best. A square has 90, so that's strained. So even though this is secondary, we're going to a secondary with a cyclopentane, which is much better. So what happens here, again, here's your carbocation. What are the sigma bonds two bonds away? One, two, one, two. So you could go on from either side, it doesn't matter. Numbering really helps here. So this sigma bond, that's one, two bonds away, is gonna move, is gonna rearrange. So these two electrons in carbon four are gonna now be bonded to carbon two. So four, oh, I, did, I did the opposite way here. I did six to three, I'm sorry. I should redraw it. <laughs> Makes it a lot harder to see. Let's go with that. So six is now bonded to two. Notice six is now bonded to two, but three in either case lost a bond. That's why three has the carbocation, right? So if you were to open this up or draw it kind of ugly, that's what I kind of do sometimes. It's like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you can see three is not lost a bond. So I did, that's kind of drawn not in a really great shape, but then you can redraw it to get to look something like this. So it's still secondary, so now you're still like, what well, can I make it more stable? You can, you can do a hydro, hydrogen shift, and that'll get you to a tertiary cyclopentane, which is the most the stable that you can get here.